Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of No Guns Life, so that makes it started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. So what y'all gonna do, kill her? Have her resign or whatever? You say that, but deep inside, you probably have them feelings. That's the face of a pissed off woman. Oh, it's easy to kill you! Duh! Holy shit. He's fine. Um, kinda. It's just a little complicated. Mm. 
We ran away from him, yeah. You're so hard headed. Mm -hmm. How he could be that little girl, and then you know, he could be like something else. Hell, he could still be there just listening on to their conversation, even though he escaped, but you never know. So I wonder just we got her to go ahead and go. Mm, it's like that. Yep, because it, it, it happens in my life too. Whether it's with the leaves or literally anything. Because I don't want people looking into things too much and then something happens.
I really don't like him. <laughs> Is it funny that you're giving me all my vibes? <laughs> I mean, we already know the good players, so. though. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. This the one time when you think Tatsuro will come down and be like, hey, just don't hit stand! <laughs> like, I don't want to sit here and think, oh, hey, Juzo might lose, but he might lose! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ugh. God. And now you can just wiggle it out. <laughs> oh, God. And then he thinks he can just escape like that, even though he's now... Oh. He's not going to be able to make it out like that. Easy. Fuck 
Yes. But thank God that you were still here. Even though I still don't trust you. And of course, she's just going to stay here. <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> Yeah, the girl on the other side had oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we're really going to carry his body all the way back. <laughs> I mean, you can at least carry something. Seriously?
and dude's gone, ain't he? No, okay, he's up right there. But something about that and him still being there, I don't really trust him as much. Because he's the ultimate bad guy for this arc, ain't he? Exactly. And so you're going to kill him for it. Oh, he should straight up be dead after that, man. You're going to end it like that, aren't you? You sure mother! Why? <laughs> what is wrong with you, Sam? Oh my god. Every single time. You end it on a cliffhanger. It's not fair. Okay. I'm not really surprised that, you know, he's a bad guy. But the biggest thing is I want to know what happened 10 years ago. It had, like, Did he kill all of his comrades except dude? It's something. I mean, because remember, you know, it was Goro and then the other two. The other two were captured. He was the only one who was left. So it, it's something. I don't know what in the world it is, but what I'm hoping that for episode eight, we go a little bit into a backstory with these characters and to see what possibly happened 10 years ago. And then these two, the woman and then I'm guessing the other gunhead who sounds like a female. But then she also sound the the gunhead also sounds like he. So until I find out who voices them, I'm just gonna go either he or she. But the fact that she can control other things and use it to her advantage is interesting. Tetsuro trying to get the cigarettes to Juzo. I mean, my God, like a lot of ish is gonna happen in this next episode. I really think what to say. He's not dead, of course. I, he's just knocked out. But the way that punch. To the gut. He probably broke some good behind bones. That was Olivia. So basically, you were telling me that the the um the hero, the one who's been you know the good guy officially as of now, as of today's episode, he had to kill Olivia's uh, father, which you know is a little fucked up, and I think that's when. She's going to possibly realize, like, if she comes in this next episode, which I'm guessing she is because her and Tetsuro are now going to be together so that they can find Juzo so Tetsuro can give Juzo the cigarettes. Uh, for him, specifically. Olivia is going to hear that guy's voice, Armor's voice, and then that's when she's going to slowly but surely put two and two together and she's going to be like, you killed my father. And she may go on a rampage. I don't think it's going to be like, okay, I'm going to go on a big enough rampage that she may possibly die. But, I mean, like, cause I think she's still important for this entire series. I don't think anyone, as of right now, for episode 7 going into episode 8, uh, episode eight officially next week, no one's really going to die. It's necessarily the bad guys. So I can see... Armored possibly dying next week because of the fact is that he is the true villain of this arc and not the one essentially that they were after. And cause see right now he ain't dead. He's current the the one that they were after is knocked out, so he's fine. I think he'll be okay, but he'll still be running in jail for the rest of his life or you know that facility for the rest of his life until he you know his time of day comes and he has to die and he has to you know. Uh, be judged by all the things that he did when he was alive and currently also as when as these extents but i don't know i mean the fact is like i think between this and um yesterday's episode of uh it's a little bit of bookworm and then a little bit of cautious hero and then another thing that i was watching 
a couple of days ago. It's like, you can't trust people who are the closest to you. I mean, yeah, you have a couple of people, but then when you bring in someone new, you're immediately kind of like a little untrustworthy with the person because of the fact is you don't know what their intentions are. And I mean, we all possibly, unless the people, well, yeah, unless the people who are currently reading this manga series or if they're all the way past this, if you are a manga reader, you already knew this was going to happen. But for someone like me and anyone else who is an anime only watcher, we're all sitting here wondering, okay, no, like he seems good. But then like when he kept standing there near the door and when Juzo was like, that door doesn't open automatically, you got to open it. And in my mind, I was like, something about this ain't right. Something about him ain't right. And I kept thinking, I was like, why is he acting this way? And it's like, and then next thing you know, you're fucking right about him being the damn bad guy. Like I said, this, you know, really, it's between this and Sympho Gear. Because I watched the other two episodes of Sympho Gear, and I'm kind of pissed about what happened. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 7 of No Guns Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the virtual squad. And of course, I will see you guys for all next Thursday for episode 8. Bye, guys. Thank you.